KCOU, here with uh, Reggie Snow. Reggie, what do you think of the Midwest? Uh, it's my first time here. It seems quite uh, quite rural. Um, a lot of white girls, a lot of college students, so it's dope. I definitely relate to it. Speaking of white girls, <laughs> you already know I'm going to ask you. <laughs> so, black is skin. Yeah. How do you feel about the reception to that video? Uh, it's dope because I got to like live my dream, and that's something that not a lot of people do. So basically, the video was a dream I had, so it was cool to bring that to life, and it's good to see the reaction of people. <laughs> like, I guess I'm getting, uh, I'm getting peed on, which is dope. So. <laughs> a lot of other people tend to think that's really dope for, for whatever reason, but it does look dope. <laughs> so I'm also wondering, a lot of your videos are very well done. I'm wondering how much of an input do you have in the direction of those videos? Yeah, I got full creative control. Um, so I'll normally take the idea to a director and we kind of just like mash our ideas together. Um, that tends to be the case. And um, yeah, I think visuals is something I take great pride in. And I guess for my next album, it's like I'm going to have so many visuals. I'm so excited to get out there. So it's okay. dope. Now, I've heard you before say that there wasn't really a much of a rap scene in Ireland at all. Do you feel that's changing now with people like you coming up? Yeah, I think it's changing kind of like steadily, I think. With people like me, it kind of serves to give the youth, or I guess rappers where I'm from, um, kind of a, a, a different kind of outlook on things. Because I'm coming with a whole different style, and I'm I'm not kind of you know looking at previous generations. I'm literally just doing my own thing, and I'm I'm trying to be you know the first one to just let people not be afraid of you know expressing themselves fully. So I think uh, I think yeah, it's slowly changing. I think a lot of people are becoming a lot more confident in themselves and that's starting to show back where I'm from. So there's definitely a scene starting to take place, and I guess with um, the place becoming a lot, a lot more multicultural, you know, that also brings a lot more, you know, uh, cess to everything, so. What's the favorite place, what's your favorite place you've been to in the States? Uh, I lived in L.A. for a little bit, so I'd say L.A., because I kind of know it the most, but I think the most beautiful place I've been to is um, San Francisco. I just like the buildings and... Um, the way shit just goes like this, like, <laughs> just like, you can like go downhill. So like, I, I had a skateboard out there and I just like risk my life just to get to the coffee shops. <laughs> oh, Cause I'm such a real nigga. You know? Aren't we all? <laughs> no, um, uh, okay, we'll see. <laughs> no, um, so is that where you do most of your production, most of your music work out there in LA? Yeah, uh, LA, I linked up with a few producers out there. I linked up with Bieber. So we got a track coming out soon, I think. I don't know. And then, um, yeah, I just worked on my album out there. So, Dear Annie, it's going to drop this year. I can't wait. <laughs> it's going to be dope. What time this year? Hey, I don't know, man. That's, that's on the, the label and the, the white guys. But, yeah, it should be coming out soon. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about race relations here in the United States compared to back home? Um, I don't really know because I've never really lived here, so I can't really speak on that. But from what I've seen on TV and media and stuff, it seems quite crazy. And uh, I think being a minority in America is, I uh, guess, a challenge, yeah. So I think, yeah, I mean, do your best to overcome that shit, man. But I guess America's dope because, you know, it's a place where everyone can, you know, make it and they give you opportunities. So I think if you just work that system and you can, you can overcome everything and just, you know, be up there with the best people. Is there anybody you haven't worked with yet that you would that you're really excited to work with in the future? Yeah, I want to work with Andre uh, Three Thousand. Uh, has to happen, and then I think Drake should sign me. But I don't know. it's just a dream, you know. But it's gonna happen though for sure. It has to happen. Can you please get Andre Three Thousand to work with you? Come out of the clo- come out of the shadows. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna use this interview just <laughs> for people to hopefully see it and then tell them. So this is what the whole interview is. Thank you for giving me the platform to do this. Okay. I appreciate that, man. So if Meek Mill offers to sign, offers to fe- be featured on your song, what do you say to him? Who's Meek Mill? He's a, oh, he's the guy that uh, Drake battled. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy. Uh, what was the question again? Oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> if he offered to put you on a song. I'd say uh, I got to check out his music, man. Uh, I don't know who he is. All right. But I heard Drake like gave him an L or something. Like that. Yeah, so it sucks for him, man. Meek L. So how often do you go back to Dublin? 
And um, I go back like every six months, I guess, mm -hmm. just to check up on the homies, make sure they're not, you know, getting up to too much mischief. And just like keep my presence there because, you know, it's important for me to be there, you know, look after some people, see my family, see my baby mama, my dogs. Yeah. No. And so when people come to a Reggie Snow show, what should they be expecting? Uh, shows are cool. Uh, th I appreciate the people that come to my shows, first of all. Thank you. Uh, when you go to a show of mine, I think it's just like a lot of kids, like the 16, 17. <laughs> um, and that's dope, man, because, you know, like, I'm happy that I can be somebody that, you know, a young person looks up to. It's, it's sick. So, yeah, a lot of young people, a lot of, a lot of, like, <laughs> like, palace and shit, and, like, fucking Supreme. But that's dope. That's my fan base, I guess. The trendy kids. So, yeah, man. But, I'll, yeah, I love my fans. Shouts out to them, man. <laughs> And then lately, the grime has been becoming a lot bigger over here. What do you think about that? Yeah, I've got some homies that make grime. So, like, niggas like Skepta and shit, like, just hearing the stories he's told me and, you know, him seeing him over in America is dope because mm -hmm. his shit's so London, you know, and it's just he's, he's not compromised in any sense. He's not tried to, you know, like, you know, do some American. She's kept everything from, you know, from London and the streets and shit. So it's dope to see Americans embrace that, you know. So I think um, it's a good time for, for grime right now. And I think um, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger, you know? Um, and I think what my thing, and me being from Dublin, it's like, I don't know what that's gonna consist of yet, but I'm trying to figure it out. But yeah, shouts out to grime, man, you know? And so how does that feel when you have people who like aren't from Dublin or aren't from like what they talk about in grime, but they still come to the shows and they're still wilding out and they're still vibing with everything and they know all the words to your songs. I think that just comes down to just me being a young person, I think. And they see me, you know, having a platform and it's, it's I guess, uh, paying dividends. So I think, um, yeah, I think with my music, it's like people see a lot more than just the, the physical ap aspect. And I think they see, um, yeah, just somebody who's trying to do something positive, you know, and that's, uh, what it comes down to I guess so I think people can relate to music in different senses but I think with me it's just like when I make my songs like I'll never make a song that nobody I think can feel so it's like when I make a track I'll you know I'll, I'll dish it out to people for like two months or whatever and I'll just see if they connect to the song and if not then you know it's just that shit goes in the trash because with music it's like it has to it has to last a lot more than just a six month uh, radius you know it's got to last for life I think so like when I'm dead and shit my music has to still be as relevant as it was you know when I'm alive so that's what I'm trying to do just like make shit from feeling you know mm. not just like make like album dates or like make schedules and shit that's all bullshit so I'm trying to make real shit that lasts forever you know so yeah you have to like go through experiences I think so yeah <laughs> and so when you came when you came here <clears throat> what inspired you to take your music to that next level and really go after it uh, I'm not sure. I think, I don't know. I just want to be remembered somehow. And I think the path I was going down with like school and shit, I just kind of felt like I was just going to be another like, like asshole, just like in society, just doing some shit that like my parents want me to do. Or like some guy like 50 years ago was like, yeah, this is the right thing to do. So I just wanted to like do my own thing and just, yeah, again, like have my own destiny. And again, just be remembered, because I think as a human being, like your sole purpose is to leave a mark on the world. So, you know, I think music's gonna be my way. And even after music, I wanna get into acting and shit. So I think there's all these different elements I'm gonna do to hopefully be remembered. <laughs> so hopefully they work. And uh, if not, then at least I tried, so whatever. Yeah. Think about politics? Nah, I, I know nothing about politics. <laughs> it's something I, I don't know nothing about, but I do know. Donald Trump, man, it's, he's not a good guy, man. You guys need to get rid of him ASAP. People are trying, but what's good with his hair, man? <laughs> I don't know. He needs. He needs. Do you know anybody can help him out? I don't know. You know he needs to get that. Like he needs. He needs to get that shit permed or something. Like, it's, yeah, I don't know, but I mean, hey, like politics is politics. I'll leave that to the politicians. But yeah, yeah man. And uh, what kind of movies are you trying to act in? Um, what kind of movies? Just like the typical black movies, like just like Fifty Shades of Black. Yeah, like be the token black guy if needs be, or be the the aggressor. Okay. So either you know either or, I'm I'm down with. 
once the money's straight, I'm I'm good. <laughs> cool. Yep. Um, and the last question: How did how did having a kid change your approach to just change your life and how you approach things in general? Having a kid. Yeah. I've got a couple kids. Or having a couple kids. Uh, just made me more hungry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's that? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, thank you so much. Yep. Yeah. Pleasure, man. Peace and love.